Hi friends, I'm Mike McCracken and welcome back to another week of Living into Lent here at First Presbyterian. This week let's talk a moment about peace. Now peace can mean many things and especially in our world which is seeing a war play out uh, before us on the news every night and certainly is, is horrific in Ukraine. We might think of peace simply as the absence of conflict or violence, and certainly that is something that we pray for and earnestly hope will come to fruition very soon. We might also think of peace on a more personal level as a time of just uh, getting some peace and quiet when we can go home and we can rest and relax and there's nothing going on and nothing demanding anything from us. Maybe we think of peace as being a time where we can rest or just relax a little bit. I think peace is all of those things. It's a, it's a big word and covers a lot of things. But we meet Jesus, especially as we're coming up on this holy week, we meet Jesus this week as he is spending the last night that he'll spend, the last supper that he'll spend with his disciples. And as he's talking to them in John's gospel, Jesus says to his disciples, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I don't give it as the world does. And then he says to them, don't let your hearts be troubled and don't let them be afraid. And what he's saying is my peace is enough. Now what Jesus is not offering is the complete absence of conflict right in that moment. Certainly violence would visit all of them, especially him within the next 24 hours. He's not offering the immediate rest and relaxation that we talked about just a moment ago. Just as the winds are blowing around right now, there was turmoil and unrest that the disciples had to deal with, and Jesus was trying hard to calm his disciples. What he offered them, what he was leaving them, what he was giving them, which was a difference in the way they would normally have heard those words, was his peace his shalom, a sense of completeness, a sense of wholeness. You see, it was normal and customary to offer someone a wish of peace as you left. It was a typical goodbye. But Jesus says something a little different. He says, not that I wish it upon you. He says, I leave you with my peace and I give you my peace. Not the way the world does but in my own way that bestows it upon you. That is a peace that means that even though the winds blow around and that there is upheaval and unrest and fear and violence and conflict all throughout the world, even to the disciples with what was going to happen to Jesus and to them in the next 24 hours after he said those words, still, don't be afraid. Still, don't let your hearts be troubled. My peace is with you. My peace is enough. My peace is completeness and wholeness that transcends anything else that the world can throw at you. Friends, that's a good word to remember today because that is real peace. Real peace that reminds us that we are not complete without Christ. So friends, Indeed, may the peace and wholeness of Christ be with you this day and forevermore.